Well, I was practicing trombone today and working on the William Tell excerpt for a, an upcoming audition. And um, I realized I have a, a, a practice tool that's been helpful to me in my own practice and, and even before when I was a music educator full time and um, in, in orchestra and, and band rehearsals. So I thought I should share this with other people, um, not only educators that could use this with their students at, uh, in band or orchestra or, or choir, um, but also for other musicians that just need to have something that would help them in their practice. And it's, it's helpful to me as a practice tool. And it's called MuseScore. It's a music writing program. It's uh, M-U-S-E-S-C-O-R-E. And you can find it at musescore.org. And... Um, it's a very powerful music writing program, and one of the best things about it, it's free. It's an open source app, um, and it's available for Apple, for Windows, and for even for Linux. Um, so I encourage you to check it out and download it. Um, it's, like I said before, it's, music, it's a music writing program. You can use it to score your own compositions or transcribe compositions into it. Uh, it it'll, you can make those long scores with uh, many different voices or in this case as you see here I just took the trombone part and I put it in a piano voice for me that works a little better than the trombone voice actually to practice with and I put the um, I just put the excerpt in just the way it is from the printed sh uh, uh, sheet music that I have and I added in four measures at the beginning which you'll see in a minute why I did that um, because I'm going to use it to, to play back I'm going to uh, use it as a playback device and um, the fact that we can turn on a metronome up here to go along with it there's the metronome button uh, will give us a click track to, to practice with um, there's uh, you can control the tempo by inputting the tempo within the uh, piece of music you can change put those different tempo markings anywhere in the music as it changes if necessary in this case it's it's all at, uh, half note equals 108 and cut time uh, and then this uh, this little panel over here, which you can find by going to the view menu and then the play panel, click play panel. Uh, you can find that over here and it's a, it's a global change. You can change it. It normally, the first time you click on it, it would probably be at 100% for the tempo that you selected. Uh, but you can move that to whatever speed you want so that if you want to practice at a slow tempo the whole piece uh, that'd be great so here's an example of how that would work uh, i've got the metronome on and if we just started I, I have those four measures to help me get set to start playing along with it uh, click play oh, actually it started <laughs> i need to rewind it there we go now not be quite ready to play at that tempo so um, we could I'll just click for example right here right here and um, I'm gonna move the tempo down from that point let's say we really don't want to play the rest of that at 100% but we're we're okay with maybe about 70 or around around, uh, around 70 okay 72 percent and I can also play it from right here use the play panel and, and use this button so that'll that would work you could continue to play the rest of the piece and you could just go back and do that as many times as you'd like uh, but another feature that i think is very uh, helpful is the uh, a, a looping function on it and if you want to loop the entire piece you could go over here to the click the first measure and either select all or go down to the very bottom and this last measure hold down the shift key click and then you have selected the entire range of the music then you can go up and find this little button here which is the uh, the, the looping function click that and as you can see it puts these uh, markers on here to show where it's going to loop and then you could just play from the beginning of that I'm going to move it up a little faster so then get past all of that maybe even quicker than 100 percent mm -hmm. 
And of course, that's it. We go all the way to the end of the piece, and when it gets to, it gets to the very end. It would go all the way back to the beginning again. You can set and do it again. Uh, however, that may not be the most uh, effective practice method. So fortunately, there are some alternatives using the same looping function and selecting measures. In this particular uh, excerpt, um, the good news is these whole notes kind of act as a buffer to prepare uh, for another repetition. So a good example would be this opening opening line I could select just uh, from this measure to from the fifth measure to the eighth measure hold down the shift key select just those and then go up here click off the previous um, looping section and then click it again to loop just that selected material so now when we practice it probably not a hundred seven percent to start off with but maybe more like maybe oh somewhere like say eighty three percent Just keep on doing that over and over as many times as you need necessary so with a with the proper setup with um, either headphones or speakers and amplification something loud enough that you can hear yourself and hear the hear the music uh, hear the playback and to play along with it it really could be a good practice partner and uh, a, a way to motivate you keep you moving along help you with those repetitions um, and very flexible because you can change the tempo when, as needed. Um, do as many repetitions as you'd like over and over again. Drive your neighbors crazy. Drive anybody else who lives in the house with you crazy. But um, it's, um, it, I'm sure most most of you that are listening have, have done exactly that same kind of thing, but maybe not with a, a, a tool like this to help, help you do it. So I suggest you take a look at it and consider it. Um, and think about using it either with students and, um, and uh, encourage them to download it. Um, check it out for yourself. See how you can utilize it. And if you have questions, please leave comments for me. I'd love to talk to you some more about it. Um, and if you have any questions about how it works, I, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but I thank you for watching.